Hello, today's tutorial is going to be on making rollover images in Dreamweaver using Photoshop. So first of all you want to open Photoshop. If you've already created your button just skip this part. But if not I'll just I'll give you my view on how I done it. I was stupidly well I stupidly never made a rollover image of the buttons before I merged all the buttons together in this layer here. Uh, what layer is it here? As you can see they're all one layer now so if I was to create a rollover image it would be of all the buttons and it wouldn't work because if I hovered over one all of them I would have went uh, to the rollover image. So uh, I worked out a way of doing it. It took me like an hour to, to work this out. Just guessing and trying. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So here's my button. So I've got my slice tool. I've already sliced the, the page up. And I'm going to right click it. I'm going to hit Control C. Or you can go up there and go to Edit Copy. And I'm going to go to File, New. And I'm going to hit OK. These sizes are for my button. And then I'm going to go to Edit Paste or Control P. And I'll paste the button. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. So the problem I came across was um, if I changed the opacity all the way, just with all the button, that background color there would pop up instead of it just being the button. It would pop up as a square because the background color has been changed. I'll show you what I mean. I'll I'll save this. Uh, I'll show you how to do it properly first. So you leave the opacity at 100 and you open the magic wand tool which is kind of a weird name. Oh, there we go. And you select it and you hit Control c to copy it or go to the, the menu and then you can change the opacity to whatever you think is right or you can add your, your glow to it or whatever you want to do to it. But I like to change the opacity, that's the way I do it. And then you've got your section here, which is still became faint. But since we copied it before, we can just paste it back in with the full colour. But I'm not going to do that on this image. I'm going to show you what would happen if you'd never done that. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG. I'm just going to save over the one that I've already done. And I've made all these buttons properly and I'll show you what it looks like if done properly so we're just going to close that after you've made your button you can make your button however you like it but that's just how mine have been made uh, no I don't want to save anything and then I'm going to open Dreamweaver now this is quite difficult for me because I'm actually holding the microphone in my hand because my mic stand one minute sorry sorry about that my mic stand made me turn my head like the side of the mic like this and I think it's an omnidirectional omnidirectional mic so it didn't really pick up what I was saying too well so away from me going on a wee banters I'll just open blog up showing my pages as you can see it was exactly what was in Photoshop but I've placed my buttons in the reason why I cut them out is so I could delete them one second, there's a bit of coding wrong there. Close that wrong. And it still continues to jump to the bottom. Anyway, I'm just going to delete these three. And I'm going to show you how to actually create the roll, the, the rollover image now. This is the one with the home one which was done incorrectly. So on Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 it's over here and it's in the common. So just open up the common one and it's there. If you're using any other version like CS3 or CS4, I'm not sure about CS4 actually but I think there's a menu bar up here. If you can't just find it at all and you're stuck, just go to insert image objects and roll over image. Because I was wondering about that for a while as well, so if it's helped anybody, well then I've made their life a little bit easier. 
would usually get stuck at a tutorial for different versions of Adobe Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to use this one here. Naming it is important, you can't use any caps at all. Uh, I'll explain why in a minute. I'm just going to name it home. And it has to be hit enter there. Shift. And then the button which makes it underscore BTM. BTN, sorry. It has to be BTN because BTN stands for button. Without the BTN, it won't work. And without the under slash, it won't work. So I'm going to go to my images. And this is the original image, which is the home one. And then I have the row of image, which I created wrongly and then the alternate text this is why you can't use caps I'm just gonna name it home for people who are blind or visually impaired and need a text reader to read um, things out to them on websites it won't work if there's caps there well it might not work so usually just go with non caps just uh, lowercase letters will will make sure the site works for them so when you're writing all these kind of things, always do it in lowercase, no uppercases, just in case that um, is a problem for uh, the, the user to the website. And then I'm going to show you the one that I had done correctly. I'm going to name it video. So it's quite difficult using one hand here. BTN. And if you think I'm speaking a wee bit posh, it's because you don't know why you hear me speaking like this because you'll never understand me because I'm humble. So I've got to start speaking properly on the microphone for people to actually be able to understand my stupid voice so my original image the one that's not been edited and then the one that I made <coughs> more transparent is a roll of an image I've done this one correctly and I'm going to hit video in here and then ok I'm going to leave one blank just for the sake of time and I'm, going, I'm now going to preview it and then the next explorer I'll ask you to save, hit yes or what, you don't have to use internet explorer, you can use whatever web browser you use it's got to, I've got to make it allow block content for it to work, as you can see these ones have the rollover images applied to them they light up, it looks quite nice they're all links not attached to anything yet but they're there, and then that one works and this is the one that we made all of it opaque opaque, uh, more transparent and as you can see since we've done it with the back as well it comes up as a square and since we put the back colour the same and made the, the actual button shape transparent it just comes up as like the button is, um, is coming out at you not the actual background so I'm just going to delete that as it jumps to the bottom of the page again right so if you want any more tutorials on Dreamweaver, Camtasia Studio um, Photoshop, anything like that even Sony Vegas if you want because uh, I used to do a lot of um, editing for computer games on that on another channel but Anyway, thanks for watching. If you find any of it tricky or didn't understand what I was saying, send me a message and I will upload a repost of that thing you find tricky. So, bye.